Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Something down here makes me feel primitive. With a title like The Bat People, you know where you are. It's just a question of how long you have to wait to get there. For bats. John Beck is an expert on bats. I'm sorry, Ken. I keep forgetting they turn everybody else off. Your caves. It's just my work. Before settling down into medicine once it becomes convenient to the plot. You're working on a grant in preventive medicine and you won't take it yourself. He and his wife Kathy are on their honeymoon. Our honeymoon was getting a little dull anyway. It's going very well. You're disgusting. To liven things up, they go to a cave full of bats and... <laughs> After this, John has a funny turn in a cable car. So they consult the local doctor. I don't think a week will make any difference. I am going steer. Oh. In whom, I have to say, I don't have a great deal of faith. I don't know what you mean. Following a nocturnal incident at the hospital, <laughs> he explains to John what might have happened. You rush back to your room. Now, you're in a state of near coma. If you are rushing, then you are not anywhere near coma. And the local police are no better. There's been one or two things that have been bothering me. My audition for Columbo didn't go so well. What's wrong with you? When John becomes a suspect in some mysterious deaths, Sergeant Ward is there to comfort Kathy. Come on, you can't walk the streets all night. <laughs> no! I mentioned mysterious deaths, but we already know, if only from the title, what the solution to the mystery is. John now seems to be a werebat, and I say seems because, despite the involvement of future special effects supremo Stan Winston, that's all we see, and when he attacks someone... <laughs> That's all we see. It's inferred that he's turning into a bat because he's drinking blood. And being even more of a jerk to his wife. Just get the hell out of here and leave me alone! Bats being famously poor husbands. For once in your life, just do what the hell I ask. Can't you see I'm in trouble? But we see nothing, and I think we're supposed to question his sanity. It's in your mind. As does Kathy and the ever astute doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist, far from it. But if we're supposed to think that, why show us the hand? Why use that title? I don't think you quite understand. If the hand was the first step in a gradual reveal, that would be different, but it's hand, <laughs> an hour of nothing, and then. You do come back. Here it comes. I don't want you to see me. The big reveal. No! <laughs> You're all right. You look fine, Johnny. Yes, he does. Because there's still another ten minutes to wait. <laughs> and while we're waiting, all we get is John on the run from the police. Assaulting a mannequin. <laughs> and killing a random hobo. You doctor? I'm still not sure. Meanwhile, everyone else is trying to find out what's happened to John. Again, building to that reveal with one slight problem. I don't know what he is. But we do. If it's in the title, it's not a reveal. This is like calling Psycho, spoilers, it's him dressed up as his mum. You haven't got the nerve. All that said, I think the biggest mistake is making this their honeymoon. It should have been the second honeymoon. A desperate last attempt to save this horrendous marriage. It's been very good, Johnny, and I'm very happy. When John comes back to say goodbye to Kathy, they end up in bed and... <laughs> This infects Kathy, and after dealing with the lecherous cop, she
she goes off to be with Johnny. In its final moments, this becomes a story about an estranged couple finding that lost common ground between them by both turning into bats. I don't care about bats. I care about you. I sort of buy that, but you've got to sit through 90 minutes of nothing to get there. It's a hell of a ride. And three people have to die to save their marriage. He believes it. Therefore, it is true. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more reviews, click here. At its heart, The Bat People is a love story. Are there any other B-movies, or movies generally, in which a romance hinges on something essentially preposterous and horrific? Your suggestions in the comments below. Listen, I had a great time. <laughs> Whoopee.